Today on Kitchen Gadgets, we're testing the automatic fish skinner, skins it, versus a chef's knife. Um, sorry, Cliff, no. No? No, I'm oh. doing it. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I, I wanna test the skins it. All right, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll... Sayonara. Okay. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esther Choi and I am the new host of the show, Kitchen Gadgets. And today I am testing the automatic fish skinner, skins it versus the knife. The skins it is supposed to skin your fish in half the time that you can do with your knife. This lever is supposed to grip your fish at the end and then this part will help you skin it. Skins it is also just like a weird name. I have some beautiful Franzini here, which can be a little bit difficult to skin just because it's so thin. If you were to do this with a knife, depending on your skill level, will take about a minute or two. Well, we're gonna go straight into the competition. The knife versus the skins it, three on three. And we're gonna time it to see who does it faster and better. Going into this, I'm, I'm actually a little bit nervous because I think I'm gonna lose to the skins it. And I know that usually the knife skills always win on this show but I feel like I'm gonna be the first one to lose to a gadget, which is pretty sad. And go. Oh my gosh. All right, that was terrible. Two. Three. Time. That's at 45 seconds and already I'm noticing that there is a little bit of loss in the fish because you have to notch it to skin it and just a little bit of meat on the skin. I, I, it's, it's not good, it's not good. So let's go to the skins it and go. And time. Wow, that was really fast. Like, I, it kind of alarmed me. So I feel like if you grabbed the end and went like this, I would have saved a little bit of time, but then you're also kind of like sticking your hand, which is kind of scary. And honestly, I just didn't want to put my hand there and it was not, not very natural to me. So it took a little bit longer to pull the skin out, but I'm sure if I get used to it and practice, it could be a lot faster and smoother. Let's compare products. I mean, this is pretty spectacular because you get no loss of fish. It's really beautiful. You can actually still see like some silver on, on the fish, which means that it's a really good skin job. The cleanup of this guy, quite simple. Turn, pull, and then you just like wash this part, you wipe down here. And then the knife, which you know you have in your home. And it's like a skill that you would have to continue to practice. So is it worth it for $150? I would say if you eat fish three to four times a week and you don't want the skin, this is it for you. If not, you don't mind you know, skinning the fish or maybe just cooking the fish with the skin on it then I would say $150 is a little bit high. If you own a restaurant like I do, this is definitely worth it. And I think that I'm gonna take this to my restaurant for my guys because it's pretty freaking amazing. It's amazing, honestly. Look at this. That's crazy. I'm feeling very emotional right now just because I feel like I lost to a kitchen gadget, but sometimes, you know, technology wins and this thing, I'm still operating it, so I still own it. And I'm not ashamed to say that the knife lost to the skins it. Be careful. To see more kitchen gadgets that I've tested, click here. What are we testing today, Esther? Here we go. <sighs> We're testing the rice cooker, of course. You do cook rice in your restaurant. I do cook rice in my restaurant and... Oh.